Slowpoke is a weekly cartoon um, in the alternative genre, that is, it, it makes its home in alternative newspapers like the Seville Weekly, and you can usually find these free weeklies in most cities around the country. I try to call it as I see it, I'm not really out to advance a, a particular agenda, and so um, if I can get a balance between the artwork and making a political point, and well, and keeping it funny, then that's the ideal cartoon. Mr. Perkins was taken from my Little Gus cartoon, which I did at UVA back in the 90s. And I guess Julie Julie made her debut in my 1998 comic book, which predated the weekly strip. She is sort of a randy female in a trench coat, and I guess she was kind of my response to Robert Crumb, who I was reading a lot of at the time, and, and who I'm a big fan of. I really, really like Crumb's comics an awful lot. I think the characters provide some continuity in the strip. From week to week, people have someone familiar they, they find in, in the comic, and um, but then some, some weeks the strip doesn't have my characters at all. Basically, I, I like to use them as actors, um, when they when they fit in, they can they can be an, a narrator or an announcer. And there are some times when I'm feeling upset about a particular political issue, and then I'm feeling very inspired to write something about that. Um, on the other hand, I do go through cycles where I feel politics has gotten kind of boring, and that I'd just be saying the same old thing over and over again. And there are so many hilarious things going on, really, on the internet right now. Um, that it's more fun to write about that. So I don't want to just regurgitate headlines. Um, in, in general, it just it comes out best when I'm writing about what I feel like writing about. I had a, uh, a cartoon, appropriately enough, that was making fun of how we spend our entire lives in front of computer screens. And um, this apparently was very popular with people who spend their lives sitting in front of computer screens. So it got picked up by a couple social bookmarking sites one of which was in Iceland, and over the course of 24 hours, I must have had at least three or 4,000 hits from Iceland, which I calculated is over 1% of the population of Iceland. So um, one out of every 100 people there saw, saw my cartoon, which is a great accomplishment, really. <laughs> I've always felt that humor was a more effective medium than anger. I, I tend to think that humor is more persuasive and um, maybe even a little trickier to do, more of an intellectual challenge. And so I think you're just you're providing more for the reader if you try to make it funny and it's not just a straightforward rant.